Welcome to the MNSRC Lightning Topics program. This episode's topic is Law 8, which addresses kickoffs and drop balls. At the taking of the kickoff, all of the attacking players must be in their own half of the field except the player taking the kick. That player is permitted to stand in the opponent's half of the field. The ball may be kicked in any direction, and in case you hadn't heard, we proved that last year in Minnesota in the Class A High School Boys Championship game, it can be kicked directly into the opponent's goal. Defending players must be all in their own half of the field and have to be outside of the center circle. If any violations regarding player positioning take place at a kickoff, the kickoff has to be retaken. If the ball is played twice by the kicker, the opposing team receives an indirect free kick. If the kicker kicks the ball directly into his or her own goal, wait, what? Why would you do that? The opposing team is granted a corner kick. The drop ball is the only restart which permits a double touch. That is, the player who touches the ball first after a drop ball may touch it a second time without any sanctioning. Several years ago, IFAB tweaked Law 8 to state that a player could only score directly from a drop ball after the ball was touched a second time. This was supposed to keep players from using fair play as a ruse to kick the ball over the goalkeeper's head and directly into the goal from a drop ball. But somebody figured out that you could just take a second touch and do it anyway. So this is no longer the case. The ball may not enter the goal anymore and a goal be counted from a drop ball until the ball has touched a second player, any player, after the drop ball. The easiest way to think about this is that scoring from a drop ball is pretty similar to scoring from an indirect free kick. While a player may still play the ball from a drop ball with multiple touches, such as dribbling away with it, that player may not score a goal until the ball touches somebody else on the field first. If a player dribbles away from a drop ball and shoots the ball into the goal without it touching any other player, no goal is awarded, and play is restarted with a goal kick. If you have any further questions on this topic, don't hesitate to contact us through www.minnesotasrc.com. 